we um, all know that non-Hodgkin lymphoma is the most common blood cancer in the United States, and patients with refractory disease, which is defined as not responding to the last line of chemotherapy or relapsing within one year after autologous stem cell transplant, they have a very poor outcome. So in a meta-analysis that was just published, when we look at currently available drugs, the overall response rate in this patient population is only 26%. Complete response rate is 8%, and median overall survival is 6.6 .6 months. So this is a population where we need more treatment options for them. So patients in this situation are enrolled onto our Zuma-1 trial. We treated 101 patients out of 22 centers. We were able to make the Axacel CAR-T product for all but one patient, so it's a 99% success rate, and the door-to-door -door time from collection of their blood cells and shipping back of Axacel is 17 days. And this is important in this population where these people are progressing quickly and they need treatment options. So the main goal for this study is to look at response. And the Zuma-1 has met its primary endpoint with a significantly improved response rate. The overall response is 82%, and complete response rate is 54%. So that's seven times higher than the historical control that I just talked about in the uh, Scholar-1 or meta-analysis study. Uh, we also found that overall, um, there are some toxicities or side effects that are associated with CAR T cell treatment in general. They're uh, known as cytokine release syndrome or neurologic events. And overall, these are uh, relatively uh, low incidence, about 13% for cytokine release syndrome and 28% for neurologic symptoms. And they're all reversible and manageable. So this overall composite of feasibility and response and safety profile makes this a very attractive treatment options for patients with bad disease.